so welcome guys to watch this video in this video we are talking about data so data is in reading everywhere and now we don't use papers to save our work either we save it as soft copy in hard drives as we store data on social sites we store data in documents in clouds etc and if we are storing it as a soft copy in hard drive someday it will be a mess for us to understand the stored data but it became necessary for us to make sense out of data and the entire process of understanding your stored data is analysis of data so the discussion is about what type of data set is required to perform analysis So exactly we need our data to be in the form of data sets and data sets are the collection of data that is stored in the form of rows and columns where every column of table represents a particular variable and each row corresponds to some observation. So rows by columns is the way of visualizing your data. So by looking at the given data on the screen, how can one decide where the column ends and from where the column starts? So this is the data on your screen. So how can you decide where one column and another column starts? Generally we consider spaces as separators for values. So where we encounter any space we consider it as new column. So in my data set I have three observations and four variables and the way I know that my data set has four columns is the count of spaces between values and I represented these spaces by these red arrows so wherever you uh, in this slide you see the red arrow means there is a space between the values and these value these spaces are the separators for my columns So now question is how data sets are recorded. So all data sets must include a unique identifier which designates a different observation. So unique identifier here is numbers which are represented by red oval. Uh, we need this unique identifier to ensure the uniqueness of data that is we are sure that our data is not redundant. So our data should be unique. It should not contain duplicate values. So every row is provided by unique code and in our example it is code number one code two and code three in the red oval you can see and essentially we put unique identifier in the beginning of the data set so when you work with your own data set you need to decide yourself that what variable should be your unique identifier so each value found once in the data set since each row represents one observation Now some unique identifiers are arbitrary values that show some information. So I put a very little data set here where I have some unique identifiers. Now these identifiers are showing some information as initials of these identifiers represents name. Uh, suppose here J represents the name John. Here P represents the name Peter. And here E represents the name Alan. And the numbers after these initials re representing the date of birth of these persons. So uh, this is the March, sorry, this is the 3rd of February, the 94 uh, is date of birth for John. And similarly, 17th December 95 is the date of birth for Peter. And 11th of May 92 is the date of birth for Alan. So when you work with your own data set, you decide yourself that what variable should be your unique identifier? So it is good practice to have an informative unique identifier because all your data should be meaningful.
Now what? If I have data with same initials and same date of birth, there could be a situation and it happens a lot of time in this large society where we encounter with this situation. Like we have same initials with same date of birth for different persons. So it is helpful to create a combination of variables at the time to make a unique identifier. So till now we have discussed how the data set should be stored to perform analysis and now we'll be looking some large data sets that are essentially analyzed for making sense out of data. So let's look at the data set. This is the data set we require to perform analysis and these types of data sets are generally used. And you can see this is a large data set here. So this is a data set and it stores the information of bank customers. So it has 11 variables and 400 ro around rows which stores income of customers. You can see here it is income uh, of customer, then credit card limit. Next column shows the credit card limit. The next column uh, after limit is showing ratings and the next column stores the number of cards a person owned and rest of the information is also showing in this data set which is age, education, its gender, is, it, is the person a student or is a person married, it's his ethnic, ethnicity, his balance. So this is the data set which is showing the person's customer's information. So these types of data sets are required to perform analysis. Now the question is, is this data sufficiently formatted for analyzation? The answer is big no because I have strings in my data and my data should be numeric to perform analysis. So where I have strings in my data set, so I have strings in gender column, I have strings in student column, in married column, in ethnicity column. So these strings should be removed, these should, strings should be converted to numbers to perform analysis. So let's see how can we convert or how these strings can be converted to numbers so what we have acquired by discussion is that our data should be numeric that means we must be able to count the terms like how many people are employed or what is the total income of the people so if we don't have numeric data we use dummy variables to convert our string values into numeric values so I can provide numeric values to gender where 0 shows male and 1 shows female and similarly I can provide the uh, numeric values to marital status where 1 represents yes means the person is married and 2 represents no the person is not married is unmarried similarly uh, if I want to convert another string column to numbers I can do like same so what we need is we need numeric data for analysis and if we have strings we can use dummy variables to convert string into numbers uh, so say so we what we concluded we concluded that character data is bad option because numeric data is preferable for analysis So I hope this video will help you to know the type of data set that should be taken for analysis. Uh, this video is presented to you by easylearning.guru and the contact details of easylearning.guru has provided in the description of this video. You can contact us on the provided number which is now flashing on your screen. So this is our contact number. Our email ID is contact at the rate easylearning.guru. Our Skype ID is easylearning.guru. Website is www.easylearning.guru. If you have any query, you can call us and your queries are always welcome. Thank you for watching this video.